<laughs> All are in the office for the first time. What you think? Yes, this post-apocalyptic sir. society. Bro, this post-apocalyptic ass. I feel like uh, Will Smith. See right here. This is why I interviewed Will Chamberlain for the first time. <laughs> what? Right there. This guy. Right there. Sit down with George W. Bush. <laughs> this guy said this. In there. Will Chamberlain Japanese, wouldn't even Japanese, fit in that room. Will Chamberlain's been dead for like 30 years. <laughs> right here. Jeopardy with Mike Pence. <laughs> if I have to like, call him, like, I can't, I can't do that. Uh -huh. Where does love from Air Max come from? Why do I love Air Max? Yeah. I have no idea. There's easy. Yeah, because you're like, you're a big, I was expecting Air Force Ones. You give Air Force One I'm energy. Air Force Ones. No, but you live in Air Maxes. I do. Me and Brennan went shopping in Miami. I walked in and walked out in 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> With the same exact shoe I had. <laughs> Hey, hey, nice. the it's like a basketball show. Yeah. Like Alright, we heading outside. Uh, you filming the whole time? For the most part. Where do these live? Oh, my sunglasses. You always ask me that. And? Have what? I ever got an answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and, um... It's good to have. You and Nelson asked me that when we were in New Orleans. Because remember I like filmed everything? Yeah, you posted this shit like five months later. Nah. I, yeah, I never posted the video. Why we greedy like wolves, Adam Eve with the fruit. Why we need no no, only got two seats. Why we need no Yo. What is up, y'all? I just got out the Uber. It's my first time experiencing like just how like OD that like New York traffic can get. And oh my goodness. It was it was something. I got a flight. Y'all know the drill. Y'all already know the deal. Y'all know I got a flight. Y'all know it's late. Y'all know it's currently like four right now. And I'm trying to squeeze in a billion things to do and hopefully not miss my flight. I'm at Hudson Yards right now. I just got dropped off by the Uber. Hudson Yards. I just want to see that. It's, I think it's called like the vessel or something. I always see pictures of it and like cool like YouTube videos. This dude named Justin Say always does like cool videos with that. And I love it. Like, I just think it's the coolest thing ever. So, uh, I just want to see it for myself. I got my, this is my video camera. I'm testing out a new camera, CV-E1. Um, but then I got the, uh, got the A7 IV on me so I can get some, like, crispy-ass photos. So, um, yeah, I definitely want some pictures of it and just to kind of catch the vibes and everything. After that, we're trying to make our way over to, so, check out a couple stores, maybe get some pizza. I'm gonna keep it simple, you know what I'm saying? Just get something to eat. After that, you gotta get to the airport because I ain't playing. I'm trying to get home for real this time. Usually I'll be playing. I'll be like, ah, I look you with mine staying another day. Uh, this time, nah, like, we got a flight to catch. We're not doing all that. Oh, see. I don't know if y'all see that. Oh, crazy. Yeah, that's OD. Y'all see I got quiet. That's because this motherfucker raw. Let me show y'all this. It's crazy. Oh. Ain't going back and fuck that nigga. He ain't even made no millions. He keep on dropping on. All right, y'all. Y'all know the drills. What? Eight in the morning, which means I'm running late already, which is typical. But we got a special day today. Might have told y'all, but I, don't, I can't remember. So uh, y'all gonna see what we got going on. I'm not gonna explain too much. I'm gonna just show y'all. But uh, yeah, we gotta get the pre-production, which was at 8 a.m. and it is 8 a.m. So we about to rush over there and figure it out. They got me in the rain, y'all. All right, so so yeah, this the um, that's what we was working with in there, just that like black wall that had like that Nets logo. So now like the task at hand is sort of. Uh, trying to figure out how we can like make that a prettier looking shot so yeah we'll see what we can do to it to kind of like liven that up i'm like itching to like run around here and like see what's going on also i guess i guess now i can sort of reveal what we got going on if you couldn't tell i'm producing a uh television interview with uh, a nets player i'll let y'all guess who put in the comments right now guess who 
you think I'm interviewing today? As y'all can see, we at the uh, Brooklyn Nets facility. They training facility, which is like far as hell from where they actually hoop at in Barclays, which I thought was interesting because with the Bulls, like United Center, the Advocate Center where they train at is like across the street. So I'm like, damn, maybe it's like a little, you know, traffic in New York, like. It's a little bit of a trek to get to Barclays, but yeah, we here. We got a little interview for a show I'm producing um, later today with a Nets player. I'm not gonna tell y'all who though. Y'all gotta leave in the comments actually whole time, like see if y'all can guess right. I feel like y'all probably could, but we just gonna see how y'all feeling about it. But um, yeah, we just kind of in a pre-pro mode, just getting set up for the shoot. Right now, like the task at hand is like, we trying to make this shot a little prettier. So we just pulled these chairs in. And uh, yeah, we gonna see what we could do, uh, you know, with the background or what kind of different things, like maybe a podium or maybe like a rack of, you know what I'm saying, some basketballs or like just something to kind of like give it a little bit more vibe. Or what my DP said was texture. I like that. Usually I say depth, but he said texture, which is a little different than depth. So I'm gonna have to like get in my film bag and, and kind of get a feel for what he meant by that. But that's how you know, you know what I'm saying? We in the big leagues now, you know what I'm saying? We, we gotta add texture to the shot, you feel me? As you can tell, it's it's early, but I'm I'm geeked though. Oh yeah, some, some, some slight. What do I gotta focus this video? It was, it was raining, so I wasn't trying to do too, too much. Shout out to ATG Socks. Shout out my boys at All Things Good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just a little LV trainer, some cargo. A little, you know, Pierre Moss. You know what I'm saying? Got the Jubilee bracelet. It's just, you know, it's a light day. You know what I'm saying? It's a light day. It's a light day. Twitter, I'm not going to lie, it was a little shorty. I was... Um, interested in. Um, so I was uh, like, you know, going through her likes on Twitter just to see, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see the real her, you feel me? So I was going through her likes on Twitter to see if she was the real her. And I see this. <laughs> I see this tweet. And it had a picture of a dude's closet, like in his apartment. And it was like super organized. Hoodies were like color coordinated, which mine are. Um, and then up top, he had like a shelf above the racks and it was hats. And then on the floor it was shoes and it was all like color coordinated. I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, take one and all one type of thing, you know what I'm saying? And so then the the comment was like from a girl, she, she was like, guys whose closets look like this be strict AF. <laughs> and then I was, <laughs> I, I laughed and I started, I started going through the, you know what I'm saying? All the little replies. What girl was like? <laughs> She was like, yeah, you do one thing wrong and you're out. Like, they don't play no game. And I started just laughing and um, they started telling all their little anecdotes about how they like, yeah, I, I used to bathroom and, and like put my toothbrush on the sink instead of in the holder or like something like that. And then like, he ain't talked, he blocked me after that or like. <laughs> so we done made offices, offices for ourselves. So we officially work you know, introducing the newest interns for the Brooklyn Nuts. Kevin. And I work I work for uh show show my tag, BrooklynNuts.com. BrooklynNuts.com is crazy. <laughs> oh snap. And uh Anwar is my uh I'm um his editor. His editor. Hell uh, yeah. I'm the uh, I'm yeah. editor for for BrooklynNuts.com. <laughs> <laughs> We are at our office today. This is editor in chief of BrooklynNets.com. <laughs> Don't start lying. Somebody's gonna walk in. <laughs> uh, What's wrong with my mind? She's spelling is wrong. She's oh. our she's our boss. She be cracking the whip. She's a mean boss. I'll be ready to quit every day. Me? A mean <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah. I'm convinced. She tell the <laughs> I'm convinced. I'm convinced she told the PA to spit in our coffee before she give it to, before she give it to us. You know, it, you know, my tea had a little tang to it this morning. <laughs> no, I don't need a coffee. That's why I don't drink. I don't need, well, I don't need no caffeine. Boy. I don't need no caffeine. You give me a monster, you gonna see a monster. <laughs> Give me no monster. 
I'll show you a monster. I need content ideas. Come on, you need content ideas. I don't. I, this why we. This why we gonna get fired. <laughs> Yo, I need that footage when we actually get fired. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> so, so I called it. Like, That's what I posted on my story right away on Instagram. Once we get fired. Yeah, right. It's the moment. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so now I'm going on um, frame to pull some of the graphics that we built out because I'm going to take it to our DP and just show them like kind of what that end result is going to look like. So when we talk about framing, eye line, camera placement, et cetera, like he'll just have like a really good sense of direction. So I'm pulling that up right now. <clears throat> and then also I just got some notes from our host, Lucas, of some things to adjust to like our little video. We're going to be using to like help facilitate the, uh, the interview. I just got to make some adjustments with that, talk to the DP, and then see if we can still like add a couple more things to um to our uh, our like little backdrop. We got a podium now, and I think it's looking like a little better. But maybe we could add just like a couple more elements to sort of kind of vibe it out. This is what I want to show you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so this is an example of I wouldn't look at Demar so much as a, okay, as I would look it. at like Kenny in this frame. Totally. But how we're gonna in post what it's gonna look like okay. is you're gonna have your uh, highlight. Oh, you're gonna put it in between their their singles. And oh, and okay, you cool. want you want it to look like he's looking at his highlight and reacting to it. This angle will always be Got it. to show them looking at whatever content that we have here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Do you just do you just want to be a little bit higher so that because if you raise up that two shot, it's gonna look like they're looking more into the camera. Yeah. Or do you want the two shot to be here, a little off center? Gotcha. You, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. because they're, we definitely don't have them looking to the camera here, and, yeah. we, and we definitely don't have because of, because of the way that we're filming this. Yeah, with the graph. Yeah. I think we do need one shot where they're looking into the camera. So with that being the case, I'm now I'm gonna go in. I'm trying to um, get the like cook. Get that frame going for all of the clips, okay. just so like it makes yeah. sense with the way we set up the camera. You know what I'm saying? Dan, Dan, a life of a television producer? Is, is that is that what we doing now? Ooh, you wouldn't want me in the office with you. <laughs> Cause the way I would be sliding. So the way the office is broken up, it would probably be difficult for you to do it. Oh, I would have found a way. <laughs> I'm gonna bug Mary. She ain't getting no work done today. <laughs> yes, sir. They brought this in for us, which I thought was dope. It's a little dusty, though. I don't know. If you can see. There's definitely dust on it. We getting ready. We're about to um, we're about to break for lunch in a minute. But like, I think we got it in a good spot. I want y'all to know like an adjustment we made. Like this is like the hard stuff. So like when we first set this up, like one, it was just like such a bare room as y'all seen. I think when you guys see the way like they like lit it, it's like it's cool. It's like when I think of like videographers, like or like DPs or whatever. Like I heard the phrase one time called like a, a light painter. And I think it's so cool, like, just the idea that, like, you manipulate and, like, paint light to create, you know, looks or whatever. And I think that's really what you do as, like, a, a DP or, like, a videographer or whatever. Like, you're kind of like a light painter, which is cool. But, yeah, basically, uh, like, yeah, I think the idea of being a light painter is cool. Like, when you came in, like, this room's, like, super, like, flat in the beginning. I think now if you look at the, like, kind of the setup. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not too, not too shabby, you feel me? So it's really cool just kind of like how the set can evolve like that. My boy Matt pointed it out a second ago. I didn't realize how like interesting of a, like a decision it was. Hey guys, y'all can see it's like, um, what, five cams? Um, two, two of them are vertical instead of um, like what you typically see on a, like, you know what I'm saying? Like kind of VOD set. And he was like, yeah, like how'd that? And I was like, I didn't realize, but we had done three seasons of the show before, like four. I wasn't here when they did those other seasons. So I think we did like three or four, like before I got up here. Word around town is like, they crushed it on, on like YouTube and everything like that. They'd never been on TV. So it's the first season that's going on TV. And then the other thing is they never really like pushed them on socials like that. I think like they would do like a little like IG timeline post, but like that was it. Um, so when thinking about how we wanted to produce this, like one of the things I suggested is 
that we throw in two vertical to sort of make sure that we got that angle and that look. I think in the past, like we've done projects and we talked about like, oh, we want to do um, vertical video or like, or like, oh, we want to do a lot of like, you know what I'm saying, cutouts for social or different things like that, which is like cool. It's like fine and dandy to say that, but it always feels like, like an afterthought a little bit. Sort of like set up the cams and like kind of invest in that side of the production just put us in a position where instead of like, oh, we'll take the wide and then just crop and then get this like not cute, watered down 720p, you know, edit. It's like, nah, like, you know, we're, we're taking these FX3s, flipping them vertical and like really getting crispy vertical video. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that investment in the pre-production, in the production and in the post like having that mindset and mentality, like put you in a position where you actually get the shots and the looks that you want. This is tough, yo. Yes, sir. That's what happens when you get off TikToks, yo. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Nah. Setup looks clean, yo. Setup looks clean. Yeah. Uh, we just want to talk to you, Anwar. So please walk us through this fit right now. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, well, you know, um, you know, function mm -hmm. over, over, over fashion. Well, yeah. I think. You know, when you got a closet like mine, you don't really have to pick between the, the two. Um, humbly, like a footlocker. Speaking, but... you know what I'm saying. So, uh, I just I just wanted technical gear that was gonna keep me dry because it's raining all day today. Uh, but we still gotta, you know, we still gotta get fly. So, um, a little short. I'm gonna be around a bunch of giants today. And so when you go with a, you know what I'm saying, uh, what's the word I'm looking for when it's all one color? All one color. Whatever. Well, when it's all one color, you just like, it don't break you up. So you look like a little more elongated or whatever. Is so, that true? Yeah, that's true. That's, for real? It's just like, like, I picked the wrong fit today then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Monochromatic. Monochromatic. Boom. There you go. There you so go. like monochromatic fits, like pro tip, you know, so I, I'm, I used to do fashion content before I got into this lifestyle stuff. So you know what I'm saying? But back in my day, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, like monochromatic outfits, they just elongate you. Like, you know what I'm saying? That. If you do a white shirt and black pants, they're not cutting you in half. So if I do full black, you think I'll be six feet? No, but on <laughs> cameras and pictures, I look better? you would look taller. Like, pro tip, y'all. You know pro what tip. I'm saying? So knowing I'm probably going to get a couple pics with the guy. Uh, how tall Lucas? That boy big. Six, like five, maybe? Yeah, he He's like tall. NBA player tall. Yeah. If I get a pick or like whatever it is, I'm not trying to look like, you know, the look, the small fry. Well, I'm just not trying to hurt myself as much as I already am the small fry. You feel Man, me? I'm, I'm gonna just tell, I'm gonna just tell this you just own celebrity it? guest to just pick me up. <laughs> I'm gonna just say, pick me up in the picture. Pick me up is crazy. Pick me up in the picture. Pick me up is yeah, crazy. We'll take, we'll take it. I got a bad back, so, so yeah. <laughs> the pro, pro Carry tips, me. Pro tips here with, with on Weezy right here, man. On Weezy F baby and the F ain't for floor. It's not. Uh, but yeah, all black, technical. You know, we got a little Pierre Marsh drip. Um, shout out Kirby, you know what I'm saying? A little waterproof from the spring collection. Um, you know, we got the Louis trainer. Shout out Virgil. You feel me? Uh, One of these days, I'm going to go shopping with you. Just, and when I say shopping with you, I mean just follow you around as you shop. Just some Because I'm not dropping this bag. Just some, you know, just some cargos. I'm gonna put my other earring in before showtime. You know what I'm saying? But Damn, I just got the. This guy has a whole setup. But uh, yeah, just like you know, real simple. I got an off white tee under here, but that was just just something to layer with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, who is he? <laughs> it's the lights, That's man. The crazy. lights just bring it out of me, bro. Like that is crazy. It's, it's, it's the lights. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? Humbly speaking, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's, nah, a, it's, it's, it's a light day. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Um, one of the best producers in the game. Oh, cut it out. One of the the most dripped out producers cut it I've out. ever met. You know what I'm saying? Set looks fantastic. Oh, this, yeah, for sure. This, this G League player we're about to get is about to be great. <laughs> and we about to, great to yeah. we about to live it up He's over here, all right? Yeah. We catch you next time on the, the On Weezy podcast. Uh, the On Weezy the podcast. The On Weezy podcast. We'll holla at you later. I'm going to go because this chair is not doing me justice because oh, my feet Lord. are dangling. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the dangling feet is crazy. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What's going on with you, bro? How you doing? Good. Anwar, producer. Hey, Cal. Nice yeah. to meet you. No, nice to meet you. 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 Nice to meet you.
dope moments on and off the court. Okay. Um, everything like that, just kind of getting a reaction. So. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's gonna be a good vibe. It's gonna be good vibes for sure. All right, I got you in this chair on the left. Oh, right here. Nope. Right. This left. Yeah, this left. There you go. Yeah, that's you right there. All right, cool. Alrighty, in three, two, one. Welcome to The Real, presented by Bleacher Report Sports on Max. Welcome to the program. How are you feeling hey, today? Man. I'm great, bro. I appreciate the invite. I'm excited to be here. I ain't going back and forth that nigga. He ain't even made no millions. He keep on dropping a block. It's the real reason. Back and forth, back and forth, till it ain't even. Till it ain't easy. Seek help me. <laughs> and I had a Sabrina, like, alternate Oregon jersey for you. It didn't show up on time, so. Oh, that would've been tough. It might be mine now, so. Hey, thank you. My bitch spoiled like the milk. He get tough off a pill. He get pill. <laughs> It's a, it's a beautiful day in Brooklyn, New York, ladies and gentlemen. It's really not a beautiful day. He's lying to you. This shit is raining. <laughs> it's raining, but there it's beauty in the struggle. It's beauty, it's beauty. I said it's beauty in the struggle. Where that's from? Where that's from? Beauty and the Beast? No. <laughs> beauty and the Beast is crazy. But yeah, we in Brooklyn right now, trying to get a bacon, egg, and cheese. And so, and you know what I'm saying? I'm getting a bacon, egg, and cheese. My boy getting a chopped cheese. The Aki way. The Aki way is crazy. Oh, uh, we was told don't, don't, don't walk up in those spots talking about make it the Aki way because people ain't gonna know. Like people don't do that around these parts. I got my right hand man right here. Hell yeah. He he put in some good work. He was asking Mikael some dumbass questions. <laughs> don't split the ball. He almost he almost split the ball, y'all. He crazy. See, I've been vlogging. This is my problem. When I'm not vlogging, I get really good pictures on my phone and like little phone videos and stuff. But when I'm vlogging, I be forgetting about my phone altogether. So I don't have no content on my phone from yesterday. This man, got all the content. He gonna get a text from me talking about some. Hey, send me some shit from. That's cause that's how people usually do me because I'm the shooter, but he a shooter too. But usually people hit me like, yeah, send me some shit from the trip. Woo -woo -woo. I need some content. Woo -woo -woo. And I be like, man, why y'all trying to take? Now we all got the same, all our dumps, got, like got the same three, four pictures in them. Cause they done copped all my swag. We going to Hungry Ghost Coffee. I don't know nothing about that. This is, <laughs> this is the second place he sent us to. That ain't what it was supposed to be. <laughs> he basic, he, he wants some Starbucks. Let me tell you about this kid right here. He's so LA, it's like, not, it's not even funny, bro. He, he out here with some goddamn, Birkin style with sweatpants and a hoodie, like. So you want coffee, so you ain't want. The other spot was nice, but it had no coffee. Ever since I've been walking around New York, <laughs> I be looking up at the field, it's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, damn, spider man be swinging through these bitches. <laughs> I don't know why, bro, I just looked up right now. Like, damn, they probably shot a scene right here, too. I think I remember. Like Spider-Man be over here. Early in the morning, late up at night. All right, that was meeting one out of four for today. Uh, we about to get up out of here. Cab done took us to this sorry ass Starbucks, but I found a spot, so we about to make our way over there and like see what's to it. Yeah, it's called Devotion. It's this Colombian guy that like design. It's I don't know. It's fancy though. It's supposed to be smooth, so we gonna figure it out. And it's gonna put us in Dumbo and like in Williamsburg, which is like a cool little area. So yeah, and it's close to Soho, which we trying to slide to after. So you know what I'm saying? We checking off a lot of boxes with this one. So I've been up for four days. It's getting money both ways, dirty and clean. I could use a glass of cold spades. All right, so I said, guys, just left. It is 8:19, so the game started 20 minutes ago. Um, I still have work to do. I'm putting myself on like a 30-minute timer. I just transferred the guys their tickets so they can go to the game. My boy Joe got the tickets, uh, so they're on their way to the game because they got their work done. I still have yet to get my work done, so I'm out here grinding. 30 minute drill, 30 minute tip drill, whatever you want to call it. We about to go in, get this work, so we can go to the game. So yeah, we about to lock in. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. You can use the fan, black jet, I just flew to Texas. Sipping tusks, mama came second. 
Never see me for the deal team. I'll leave for this off my word. Fourth quarter's about to start. Waiting for my Uber. We gotta go. My Uber just went from four minutes to two minutes to six minutes. I'm like, I'm looking at him. He making every turn but the right one. Every turn but the right one. Trying to get to the game, man. Damn. Uh, I had to switch Ubers because he taking all day. Like, he was bugging. He done went all around. I'm like, we not about to do that, man. So I just switched Ubers. This one, like, one minute away. So. Metro booming, trying to cue the several niggas moving bricks to you. You can feel it. I caught the last three minutes of the game. We are the bridge, gang. What else? Smell wrong. Yeah. Brooklyn Bridge. I think this is the Brooklyn Bridge. But uh yeah, we live in that New York lifestyle. Thank you. Nice, nice meeting everybody. Alright, that was my um only meeting for today. Not the only thing I needed to do today. Maybe we'll find another coffee shop, see what my boy Cav and everybody up to. So last night gave me the confidence to ditch the Ubers today and take the subway. So I haven't taken an Uber all day today. Almost did when I got out of the hotel. But I said like, nah, let's try this like walking around thing. Currently we're just leaving Dumbo and we're on our way to um, Soho right now. I saw the Kith, but I didn't get a chance to look at the uh, Amelion door store. And that's the one I'm most excited to go check out. I don't even drink coffee, but I think I might get like a hot chocolate. Hey. London, I like that. Ooh. Yeah. Jason got my name glow in the dark. Bit over the dark like I'm over your mark. Walking cars, I got my crown in the start. 40k a night to sleep at the mark. Yeah, yo, you gotta go tell him the story. The dog with the fucking dreads. Yeah, tell him, tell him the story on camera. Yo, I right, so basically. <laughs> There's this guy that comes out here, right? He dead eyes just comes out here with his dog and licks at the sky. But his dog that has dreads. Like you why? I swear to God, bro, you can't act anybody, bro. He's not from here. He oh, wants to order man. bacon egg and cheese. You gotta get you bacon order? egg and cheese. Listen, I'm putting you on. Right. Bacon egg and cheese on yeah. a plain bagel. Fuck a regular roll. A plain plain bagel, bagel, ketchup and minis. Ketchup and minis. Ketchup and minis. Yes. Ketchup. No regular look, ketchup look. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you with this. You don't put regular American cheese. We put in monster cheese. Monster. That's, yes, I'm. Hey, wait, you boo, hey, you boozy. You had the, you had the boozy monster bodega. Monster cheese. I'm getting the boozy bodega. You know I'm from the Bronx. We do this. You heard? We the do, monster we cheese. You know how they do? They get cheese and Nietzsche be in there. That regular man. Cause they ain't do it the right way. Right. So you go with the plain bagel. So that's how you got bagel. room for flavor. Flavors. So when you go with that monster cheese, that's you that little. That monster cheese hit different, bro. I swear to God. But it's not too much because if the bagel was OD, it would have been too much. So Yo, you go you with the plain bagel. The sauce though? Watch this. Now, <laughs> get, you get the croissant, right? Okay. You get, you can get whatever cheese you like. Yeah. Get the croissant grilled, like a grilled cheese with the croissant, and okay. then you get tomato sauce. Tomato and sauce? And dip it in tomato sauce. That's a little wait, wait, bougie. Wait, 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 wait. A grilled huh? cheese croissant? Yes. And then you get some tomato sauce tomato on the side sauce. for a little dip. All right, I'm Come not going to lie. I ain't even had it. I know you snapped with that. That's my I know you snapped with that. I know you snapped with that. You <laughs> so LA is disgusting. Hey, we're going to Allo after this. Hey, bro. Hey, yo, uh, he's so LA. It's disgusting. He's wearing Allo every day this entire trip. I think trip. I'm the only person wearing shorts at, in this whole entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my, my mans right here want to be a bad bitch from LA. So, <laughs> so bad. Look at this! Look at that! Hello, y'all know he had his coffee, a little ice cap, ice frappuccino, oh, ice mocha. I got an ice mocha today. That shit was. You got an ice mocha? Ice mocha latte. Absolutely not, fam. <laughs> you better get that that munchy, that ice spice drink from Dunkin' Donuts. That, that, donut. donut. <laughs> that munch. I never tried it yet, but I'm gonna you're, try it soon. You're man. sick, man. I'm sick. These Hello, you gotta have like some white sneakers, but they gotta be busted down. Yeah. Yo, he want to be a bad bitch from like L.A. A vintage, a vintage tea. A little vintage. He want to be a bad bitch from L.A. so bad. 
<laughs> Wait, hold on, y'all. It's really a, a dog with dreads. He wasn't lying. He was dead ass, y'all. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Are you live streaming? Um, Just in case y'all thought I was capping. I'm never capping. I actually like it, man. Yeah, I think man. it's dope. I'm I'm so cool I think it's dope. You ain't playing this smart. I ain't, I ain't.